Good day folks, in today's video we're going to talk about what FPV gimbal mode is for the Mavic Air 2. I've already made a similar video about this for the Mavic Mini, but a lot of people are getting the Mavic Air 2 as their very first drone. I've already had numerous questions asking about it, so I thought I'd make an updated version for the Mavic Air 2. In this video I'll give you a brief explanation first, and then we'll go in and do some video samples to demonstrate what it does. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So if you've just purchased the Mavic Air, it's your very first drone, you might be wondering what FPV gimbal mode is. I'll just show you where it is in the settings. If we launch the DJI Fly app, if we go to our settings in the top right hand corner there and we go over to control, you can see here we have two gimbal modes. We have follow mode and FPV mode. Whenever you power on your drone and you launch the DJI Fly app, it's always going to default to the follow mode. That's going to give you the smoothest settings. And I'll kind of explain here what that does. On the Mavic Mini, we have our camera and it's attached to a gimbal. Now when it comes to the gimbal, there's three points of stabilization on it to help keep your footage stable. There's pan, which basically goes from side to side like that. There's tilt, which is up and down, the camera moving up and down. And then there's roll, which is back and forth like that. So three axis stabilization will give you nice smooth results when flying. When a drone flies, it's moving quite a bit up in the air. For example, when you're going forward, the drone's going to tilt like that and move forward. So that's where the different movements of the gimbal come into play to help keep everything stable. So in follow mode, all three axes are working and keeping the footage stable. However, if we switch it over to FPV mode, it's basically going to lock the roll axis. So what's going to happen there once you've enabled FPV mode, if we move the drone side to side by using the right control stick and moving it side to side, as we move the drone from side to side, it's going to be on an angle like that. And with the roll axis lock, that's going to be visible in our video. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration here. I'm going to have the drone in the normal follow mode and I'm just going to fly it side to side using the right control stick. So the drone's just going to be moving back and forth like this. So you can see here in this clip I'm flying from side to side and the footage is staying fairly level. It doesn't matter if you go slow or fast, that 3 axis gimbal is going to keep the footage level. It's going to keep the horizon level and keep the footage looking nice. So now if we were to switch it over to FPV mode and do the exact same thing, just put the drone side to side, this is what it's going to look like. You can see here as the drone moves back and forth that roll axis is locked so it's going to translate into the video. And depending on your speed and the aggressiveness of your movement, that's going to be translated as well into the video. Your horizon might be slightly tilted or it might be greatly tilted. Now that FPV mode can be useful in a couple different scenarios. Now the first reason is sometimes when people fly with goggles, they like to enable the FPV mode because it kind of gives you that sensation of flight. Now that doesn't really translate over to the Mavic Air 2 because the DJI goggles are not really compatible with it as of yet. I'm not sure if they're going to be making it natively compatible. Uh, there are some workarounds that I've read. I haven't tried it myself yet, but uh, maybe I'll make an updated video on that later on. The other reason why you might want to enable that is sometimes when you fly, turning that on, you can get some really interesting looking footage that you can edit into your drone edits. So I'm going to show you an example here up in the air, flying with both normal mode and with FPV mode enabled. So as you can see in this first clip here, we have follow mode enabled, which is the normal default mode. And you can see here as we turn, everything is smooth. The horizon stays level and everything stays smooth. Now here in this next clip, I have enabled FPV mode. And you can see there as I turn, kind of change directions, you can see how we get the horizon tilting. And it gives you, like I said, that sensation of flight. Now if we take a look at the controller here in the sticks, to make use of that and to give you that sensation as you're turning, you have to use both sticks. For example, if you're up in the air flying and you want to get that effect where the horizon is tilting, you have to use your right control stick. As you move the drone from side to side, your horizon is going to go back and forth. However, that's not going to allow you to change directions. So what you have to do if you want to get that effect with the horizon tilting and change directions, you're going to move your right joystick and then move your left joystick as well. That's going to tilt the horizon and it's also going to change the direction in which the aircraft is moving. So definitely if you're new to drones and the Mavic Air 2 is your first drone, definitely go in and play around with your gimbal modes because you can really get some interesting effects for your videos. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you found this video informative. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.